hi it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm here for Alton New today and today it's all about adding some depth using Prismacolor pencils but it is a very very bright card that I decided to go with today and I just love this parrot image it's heaps of fun it's so unique and of course Alton New have just knocked it right out of the ballpark again so I just had to play with this image and make it my own there are so many wonderful parrots and if you ever see my YouTube videos before you may have heard all the parrots that we have living in our backyard well they're not actually living in our backyard they fly through our black backyard all the time and they just have the most amazing loud sound <laughs> but anyway I thought I'd had to color this parrot up and I just love using a bright orange and a hot pink together and I thought I would color my bird I don't know it's not a real colored bird it's a bird that I wanted to color it's the colors that I wanted to use and I just had to go with it I did decide to add some blue though to my image as well and what I've done is actually stamp the image out initially using my misty stamping tool and some of the permanent black ink jet black ink from Alton New because it's alcohol marker friendly and what I'm doing is actually adding a base color to my image I find that I color so much quicker with Copic markers the color goes down quicker but I don't get the detail or the depth sometimes that I want because I don't have a lot of colors well I have enough <laughs> but I don't have every color and I don't need every color although I want every color so how I compromise with that sometimes is I actually do my base color with the Copics and then come in and add my depth with my Prismacolor pencils and that works really well for me you can't go back the front though you can't actually add um, use the Prismacolor pencils and then try and color with your Copics over top because they are a wax based pencil and it doesn't play very nicely with the alcohol markers so just be aware of that so I'm going to leave you with the coloring now I'm starting by using my Copic markers I'll have all the lids off to the side and also I will list every color at my blog and I'll put the link in the YouTube description below and also all the colors of the Prismacolor pencils I use but but basically I've chosen colors that are the same but a little bit deeper and that just helps me add some depth and detail it does take me a while to do so I have had to speed this up and I'll be back soon when all of the colouring is done. All right, so I did add a little bit of shading with a gray marker or gray pencil as well and the reason I stamped it is my misty is because I wanted to re-stamp the image in exactly the same spot again and that just adds a boldness to the black outline and doesn't that look fantastic it just brings out the lines that get a little bit lost when you're coloring with prismas all right, I want to work on my background now and I'm using the pattern play this is the hexagon and this is a big kind of background stamp but it also has some filler stamps with it so you can actually make it your own 
I decided to use the this is called the I'm trying to think the orange orange cream <laughs> this is my favorite orange out of the set of oranges and this is from the new set of pinks and it's called pinkalicious <laughs> and it simply is pinkalicious so if you can kind of notice here I haven't actually used the background stamp itself what I've done is actually used the filler stamps and I'm stamping out my own background pattern because I wanted sort of the white lines in between and it's a little bit more forgiving this way and not so bold dare I say <laughs> it's hot pink and bright orange but not so bold as trying to add the black lines as well behind a really busy sort of pattern that I've got going on with the bird. You'd be pleased to know that the bold alphabet die set is back in stock. Yay! <laughs> so I decided to use it again today and I've got some of the turquoise cardstock from Altenew. I don't know if you've tried their cardstocks but they are brilliant and I think I have every colour now or all the colours that I could get when I bought them but the turquoise is a really pretty bright blue. I am going to pop it up on some fun foam here with my usual trick, leaving the letters in place within the fun foam before I adhere them down. For some reason these letters didn't want to play very nice, but I got away with it by actually just popping a block on top after I'd added the matte medium and setting it aside to dry, and that did ultimately seem to work for me. The rest of my sentiment comes from an older set called Sentiments and Quotes, and the whole sentiment says you are amazing but I didn't want to stamp out the you because I've already die cut the word you and that would mean it would say you you are amazing <laughs> and I didn't want to do that so I just selectively stamped that now it's time to put my card together I have actually added some fun foam behind my panel which I cut down to fit on my card front and just used some double-sided tapes so or some strong tape to hold that in place and these fun foam letters had some sort of shiny thing on the back of them so I wasn't going to use my well I could have used my matte medium it just would have taken longer to dry so I just and I had this uh, um, double-sided tape out so I simply just added that behind my word you and then stuck that down at the base of the bottom of the panel on the card how bright is this card <laughs> I really wanted to do something bright and I think I achieved that I've also popped up the are amazing and this is just some one millimeter thick fun foam fun foam foam dots so it's not sitting particularly high off the word you I have doubled up the fun foam behind my bird and used some double-sided tape again and just gonna pop that in place that's my finished card how cool and bright is that <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've had some fun today. I'll be back again real soon. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye. <laughs>